Why do you think they're going to, uh, allegedly, a uh, rumor mill, uh, why are they doing it on the Warner Brothers lot? I don't know. For the 1010 event. I, I haven't really looked. I mean, I, I'm not thinking too much about it, but some of the comments that I read, they're saying it's because it has a track and they want to show the thing drive itself, maybe. Mm -hmm. Show the demo right, how right. it is. That's what right. they're saying. But... And it's like a neighborhood. It's, it, it looks like yeah uh like a, a neighborhood so you can get a real visual for of how in a safe work. manner right in a safe yeah. manner that's con no, I'm controlled excited environment for... yeah i'm very excited i'm very excited why do you think is that is that, that is that, that that's it yeah. that's it i, th I yeah, think it's a controlled it, yeah. environment <laughs> that looks like your neighborhood and people can get a feel of what it might be like and you know with intersections and and uh, maybe they'll do actors or people that are uh you know paid uh, and and you know signed waivers or, yeah. or whatever's involved so you know they're w willing participants so yeah that's how i think about it yeah it, it does make sense it does yeah it's very interesting i'm very excited to see what's going to happen on on october 10th what i'm expecting is them going like okay here's the vehicle there's no pedals there's no wheels it's just two-seater mm -hmm. for now i don't know if there's going to be another vehicle on veil i, I don't know there has been rumors of that, but I'm not gonna have expectations of that. Um, but they're gonna say this is the vehicle, this is how it looks like, and yeah, we're gonna start this in this city at this date, mm -hmm. sometime next year. I, I mean, I am expecting. I, I'd be surprised. I would be shocked if they don't say a date of when they're gonna start. That that'll be a little bit of a downer for me, but it it can't just be a a robot taxi event where okay you unveil the robot taxi and that's it all right guys here it is how this is how it works go home now it's like well no you know when are you going to start where are you going to start you know how's it going to work show us the app you know what i mean right but i'm really looking forward to this date of when they're going to actually start whether it's going to be in phoenix or uh, san francisco where they already have with waymo is already doing the thing so but I think once that starts and the, it keeps collecting data, because they're going to have so much data, they're going to move so much faster than Waymo and the other guy. I don't know what the other guy is in, in the U.S. driverless car. So much faster that it's going to be, okay, six months later, we're starting in Idaho. Another three months later, we're starting in Texas. Another three months, like it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna pop out everywhere and very quickly too. Mm -hmm. That, but artificially geofenced. Okay, for now you can do it here, but then the more data comes, then you can expand it to other areas. I, I, gotcha. I believe that's how it is with because with Waymo they just can't go over the geofence because it's lidar and all that kind of stuff, which is not scalable. Right, right, yeah, that's what's but with yeah. yeah. With Tesla, it's like no. I mean, as long as I can see the road, I can see everything. I can think. I know what I know. I know how to do it. So that's what I'm expecting overall after this Robo Taxi event. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking it, it would be in in the boring tunnels first because it's such okay. a controlled environment where you know there's no intersections. It's just you're avoiding people, and then you're you know the ability to pull over, pick up passengers, drop passengers off, right? You, you can train that way um, before you do a city uh, is how how I thought yeah. I thought it would go. Um, I, I do. I guess I kind of like your idea regarding an artificial uh, zone. Um, that 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 does make sense uh, that that they would geofence it in that regard. So um, but yeah, I, mean, they, they I don't know. Tesla, Tesla yeah. likes to break, break, break eggs, right? They just yep. they they like to make that omelet and and break the rules, <laughs> and so I don't know. Maybe yeah. maybe they do it differently. Yeah, let's see. I'm excited to see what they're gonna do that day, and I'll be very disappointed if they don't have a release date or when they're gonna start. Yeah. Well, well, so so you think that it's gonna be a uh, one, one vehicle or or well, for like, sure one vehicle, for sure one vehicle, which is the not, main robot not, taxi. 
not one vehicle, one with pedals, one without for sale to consumers? It's, or it's, what, what I don't mean? think they're going to show, they, if they're going to show the one with pedals and wheels, that means it can be ready to be bought. And I don't think they want to have any cannibalism for their, you know, or Osborne effect or whatever it is for right, their right. vehicles. Because right now they're, you know, you see what's going on with this, you know, with this new Model Y coming out where everyone's like, oh, the new Model Y coming. Why buy the new Model Y now? Just wait until that comes out. You know, that, that, you know, that, that hurts sales. Yeah. And Elon has said him so many times that, hey, stop this. Don't stop spreading these misinformation. And I've been a victim right. of, I, I've, I know, I, I've, I've, <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. So I slowed that, I slowed that on big time. Yeah. Um, but um, I don't think, I mean, if they're going to release a new vehicle or show us a new vehicle that you could buy, they would do it in a way that you can order it right away or within the next three, four months, they won't like, okay, this is coming in two years and the price is like 25,000. Oh, 25,000 Tesla. Okay. Forget it. I'll just like taxi it for now, or Uber it for now until that car comes out. You know what I mean? But yes, but at the same time, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you uh, two anecdotes. One, I have a cyber truck um, yes. and uh, you, you know, I, I, I'm actually about to sell it and upgrade to uh, uh, the beast. Um, nice. So, but, uh, but like my, my, uh, my, a, f a friend of the family, uh, daughter is, uh, you know, graduated, graduated, going off to college or whatever, and they need a car and they want the safest car and they bought a model Y last month. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't wait. Actually, September 1st, uh, is the just, yeah, uh, is mm -hmm. the expiration for the free supercharging. He oh, nice. was just messaging me about that. that. And <laughs> the reality is, is when you have a need, if you keep waiting for the next model, you're, you're, you'll just keep waiting because it's always getting better. Um, yeah. They're always refining it and making features, even, even if it looks the same on the outside. Um, so you'll, you'll always be waiting. Oh, hardware three, hardware four. Oh, then it's going to be hardware five. Then it's, you know, so th like this, this mentality to, to me, I just think about if, if you, need if you have a need you're going to get it if you can wait you're always going to wait and then yeah. you'll, you know how many how many generations are you going to wait for so I just, yeah uh, no that's true that's true like for example uh, what i see happening is that okay so if the model y i don't know how much it is in the u.s i think it's 35 grand if i'm not mistaken in the u.s yeah, somewhere around there like 40 yeah so i mean if another model is coming out that's gonna be 25 grand it's gonna be like okay wait I'll just, I mean, if I already have a vehicle and I don't need to sell it to buy a new one, I'll just wait until that one comes out because it's cheaper. So I think this is what Elon is trying to avoid because right now car sales are garbage. I mean, I'll just be honest because yeah, interest with, rates are up. Interest and rates, it, yeah. But uh, they are going to go down next, next this month, actually. Yeah, we are in September yeah. this month. So I think um, just how Tesla brought down the prices so hard when interest rates went down, the opposite, I think, will happen as well. When interest rates do go down, they would have to increase the prices to, you know, level off demand. Um, exactly. I do believe that. Um, so, um, so let's see. So why see. would why wouldn't they why wouldn't they release right like say no no steering wheel no no pedals? Um, I mean, we're not born yesterday. We can just infer that they'll have yeah. a version that will have that and. Um, you know, we don't know the price, so that that's that's something that I'm looking for for 1010 is I want to know, will they reveal, uh, just like when they unveiled the Cybertruck, uh, uh, you know, a, a target. They're not going to do that five years ahead like they did yeah. with the Cybertruck. They're going yeah. to do that for next year. Jeff Lutz points out the, you know, last earnings report um, shows that they're next year they're going to increase capacity by 50%. Yeah, three million. On what? Yeah, exactly. So what on what? What are they what are they going to make? Well, logical answer is going to be this less expensive vehicle. <laughs> it's it's been talked about for how many years now. So it's been yeah. a long time and you know, as you can see our our sales low because of uh the Osborning. I'm sure part of it does have have to do with it, but really you, you know, it's the interest rate environment and, and people uh, you know, aren't running out there buying, you know, fifty thousand dollar cars. Yeah. So, no, that's interesting. It's an interesting point. We'll we'll see. We'll see in less than six weeks' time to see. Oh, what this is gonna be? I'm very excited for it. Um.